Yo guys, hi you all doing? Welcome back to another video. And before we start this video, um, just a quick update. Um, I've broken my little finger. Um, I should I should have the bandage thing on it, but it was annoying me, so I you know uh, took it off. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to have it on, but it was getting on my nerves, so I probably just put tape around it or something. Um, but anyway, today. We're doing a bit of a different video. I was going to record, um, well I won't tell you just because I might do it again and I don't want to spoil it, but I was going to record another video tonight which involved quite a bit of like movement and action, um, but now I can't because I broke my finger in PE today. Um, yeah, I had to come home from school and stuff. And, yeah. But today we're doing a different video called My Top 5 Tech Items of 2017. Now just to clarify before we start this video, I've seen a lot of these videos like or type of videos like top 5 tech items on YouTube and they've all said well I've checked it on the official websites and this isn't right. This is just my opinion okay, this isn't like officially the top 5 tech items of 2017, this is just my opinion. Okay so number 5 is Apple TV. Now if you don't know what Apple TV is, it's this little thing here, it's basically you just put a HDMI cable in it. Um, either ethernet or you can use wireless and then the power cable and basically what you can do on this you can watch youtube you can um you can broadcast your phone screen to your tv and watch like youtube videos on it and stuff you can listen to music you can download films this thing is awesome now if i'm completely honest it is a little bit overpriced coming in at 140 pounds and if, if i'm completely honest it's done it's done really really well for me but to com be completely on honest, I really do love that thing, but compared to the Amazon Fire Stick, which is only £30 and does basically the same thing, it is just a bit overpriced. Okay, so coming in at number four, we have the DJI Phantom 4. Oh my god, I flipping love this thing. It, it, if you don't know what it is, it's a drone. You put propellers on it, it doesn't have the propellers on it at the moment goes through the sky, you control it with the controller, I don't have it with me at the moment, it's downstairs. Yeah, you can get some pretty epic shots with this, I'm pretty sure, like, if you're on a massive hill or something, there's no obstacles and no, like, transmission signals in the way of this, and you're, like, the only person flying a drone. I'm pretty sure the very, very maximum this can go is 400 metres. No. Four, 400 kilometres. No. Four kilometres. Wow, I'm just so good at speaking, aren't I? And I think the highest it can go is 500 meters. So really, this thing's awesome. Now looking at this, you guys are like, oh yeah, I want one of these. Um, let me tell you the price. This thing comes in around 1,200 quid. Uh, I know you guys are like, what, Jake? Why'd you spend that much on a drone? Well, basically, I do. If you're wondering like how I get this stuff, like. Basically, I sometimes do like photo shoots or acting work um, for like different companies, and the money I get from that, which is what I buy all my equipment with, so that's also how I bought the drone and how most of my equipment. If, if you are wondering, now this drone shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. I think I think it's either 30 or 24. I have to put it in tech somewhere here. I will have to check it up. And number three has to be the iPhone 7 Plus. Guys, this thing is insane. It's waterproof, it's got a 4K camera, it can shoot 240 frames per second at 1080p. It, it, it's got everything. Now, the reason I love this phone so much is really like, because it's waterproof and it's durable and the screen, like, it, it, it's really hard to crack it. Because I'm one clumsy bugger. I, I drop this thing a lot. I, like, I've dropped it down the toilet a few times. I've dropped it in the bath. When I went sledging, it fell out of my pocket. Loads of sledges went over it. Didn't. It's not even got... Well, it's got a few scratches, but hardly any. And obviously for the camera as well. That, that's a big thing for me. Now, obviously, this thing is also coming in at quite a big price. It comes in at the Apple Store around nearly £700. And coming in at number two... It's the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Oh my god. What can I say about this thing? This thing is absolutely insane. If you don't know what it is, it's an action camera that has a waterproof casing. So you can take pictures, video, and all sorts underwater. Saying all sorts, there's not really much more than pictures and videos that you can do with a camera, is there? 
But honestly, this thing is insane. It shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, and I think 12 megapixel photos, which is sick. My only downside issue with this though, is when you have it off and there's a battery inside the camera, it, it, it dies even when the camera's actually off, which is one little annoying thing, so you should always carry a spare battery with you. This comes in around £400. I know it's expensive, but trust me, it's worth it. I know some, I said some of the other things are a bit overpriced, but this is fully worth every single penny. And number one, the Koo Wheel D3M Electric Skateboard. Now this thing is awesome. I can't really show you it very well because I can't use this hand, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Also quite heavy. Basically it has a wireless remote controller and then what you do is you actually just stand on the skateboard like this, move it forward nice and slowly or you'll go flying off it. Move it forward just a bit and you'll start going. Um, according to the website, this thing goes 25 miles an hour top speed. Uh, I, I, I have my doubts. But if this thing does actually go 25 miles an hour, it's faster than a boosted board and also half the price. So if you're just looking for a pretty cheap electric skateboard, you just want to get around, the Koo Wheel will be a great option. But anyway guys, that is my top 5 favourite tech items of 2017. If you did happen to enjoy it or do want to see another video like this, be sure to smash it with a like rating. If we could get 25 likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys later. Rock on. Bye.